Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ray from iPhoneRepair.com, and this is just a quick video to show you guys how to go ahead and uh, unlock or factory unlock your iPhone using iTunes through AT&T. Uh, as you can see on our site, we've we have covered how to do this before with a tutorial. We didn't actually create a video for it because we didn't feel it was really necessary, but a few people have had some problems with this, so we decided to go ahead and make a quick video. So. First off, you have to be an AT&T customer or a previous AT&T customer and you have to be able to verify your account or provide your account information to AT&T. You then contact AT&T and then they will go ahead and submit a case to have your iPhone unlocked. If you're approved, you will get an email, you open up an email and you will get something that looks like this. Basically says thank you for contacting customer care, blah blah blah. To complete the unlock, you have to connect to iTunes to verify connectivity and then do a backup and restore on your iPhone and then restore. What this typically means is that once you do that you will then lose your jailbreak because you're going to restore. So we don't want to do that so what do we do? Well as it says in the tutorial what you'll go ahead and do is get red snow and I have a folder here already now this version of red snow I'm using is older because this is an older device so yours may be different but whichever one you're using, go to Red Snow. You want to uh, run as administrator, and in this case, I have to s browse for the IPSW. Hit OK. All right, and then say it's identified. Again, yours may not do this because you may have a different version of Red Snow. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure that your iPhone is connected to iTunes. and then you'll hit next you'll want to uncheck the option for install Cydia and the option for anything else and choose the option to deactivate and then hit next once you do that you'll go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions as it says here make sure your device is connected make sure it is off Right, and then once it's off, you'll go ahead and you'll complete the process for hitting next and putting your device into DFU mode. Alright, and as you can see here on the iPhone, it has been put in DFU mode and it is running the necessary script. You can go ahead and click finish here. So the rest of that is done. And as it, you can see here on the steps, this is the step that we're on. It's running the script, doing everything normally. Alright, so the iPhone is booted up and it's now at the connect to iTunes screen. And then we'll go ahead and open.
open up iTunes. And as you can see on the iPhone, it says iPhone is activated. And as you can see on the screen of iTunes, it says, congratulations, your iPhone has been unlocked. So we can definitely now go into the iPhone. And we can see that our jailbreak is still there. So, as you can see, pretty quick, easy, simple process. Uh, hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Uh, and if so, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel and my future videos. If you have a question, please do not hesitate to go to our website, www.ipwnrepair.com and submit a question or email info at iphonerepair.com and we'll do our very best to get back to you as soon as possible. Again, keep in mind that YouTube is not our preferred support method, so if you leave a comment there, it may take a while for you to get a response, if any at all. It is best to reach out to us on our website. This is Ray from iphonerepair.com. Thank you very much.